hello friends welcome back uh, i hope you are uh, finding my videos useful and subscribing to my channel uh, today uh, today's class will be keeping it very short and simple because uh, uh, we are going to talk about uh, how you can force replicate uh, replicate across the sites now you know that in active directory you have uh, sites and services on which you create an object so say in in our case uh, for our test purpose what we have is we have uh, uh, three domain controller uh, two in toronto and one in vancouver and what we'll be doing is we'll be creating an object in a, in a toronto site and we'll see if we can force replicate uh, uh, across vancouver so here is the two site I have Toronto and this and I have two domain controller DC1 DC2 and the Vancouver site I have one domain controller DC3 uh, okay so let's start with uh, opening our active directory users and computers uh, and this one will create one object for our test purpose and we'll try to force replicate that so when you open that you just create a new user Okay, so let's say we have a new user which is Kevin. And his login is also Kevin. Next, then you put give any password. password. And because this is a test purpose, so we are not bother about changing the password. Okay, so it's finished. So as you can see that the Kevin has been made, so he's a new user on DC1. Now if I go to DC2, uh, there should be again a uh, user under the name Kevin. So I'm on DC2. Okay, let me just open that back again. So open AD users and computers from the start menu. And uh, hopefully Kevin should be there. So as you can see, Kevin is there. Now let's check on the DC3. Uh, that's uh, on the Vancouver site. We'll see if it is if this user has been created no as you can see you know let me refresh uh, that uh, there is no Kevin the reason being that is uh, if you were talking about the replication and if you have studied in depth about sites and services how they work is uh, to replicate across the across the geographical location it takes some time and what kind of schedule you have given uh, under the settings it will depend upon that too but in certain cases you want to do that uh, immediately you can run certain commands uh, that's what i'm going to show you so the commonly used command for that is uh, rep admin command so uh, on your dc1 you open the command prompt so i'm on dc1 right now and uh, i'll give a command which is rep admin the forward slash replicate now the destination uh, uh, domain controller is uh, DC3, that's the way we want to force replicate. And the source uh, domain controller is BDC1. And then the name of our domain is Sherma.local. So DC equal to Sherma, comma DC equal to uh, local. Okay, so let's run this command and this uh, as you can see that the command was completed successfully so let's check that by going on dc3 from the start menu you open a duck and hopefully this uh, replication has taken place and this should be kevin so it's, yeah he's right here so this command is very useful in case you have to force replicate i'll recommend you play around with this one and uh, i'm sure you'll find it useful thank you and i'll see you in my next video